Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the fifth episode of Dogeza de Tanon Demita. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, last episode, we were with the girl Murakami Sanami. She was, I guess, kind of like a bookworm girl. I mean, that's kind of the impression I got, and she she was in the library, so I think that's a safe assumption. And she was a success, I would say, so I'm not sure who we're going to go for this episode or what we're going to request, but hopefully... It goes well, so let's see if that's indeed the case. Three, two, one, play. And uh, Akari, huh? Childhood friend, okay. Interesting. And yeah, she should definitely be willing to cooperate then. Okay, the gym is our location. What are we going to request exactly? She is quite cute. She got a nice blush going on, so she probably likes me. <laughs> I mean, something's on your mind, clearly. What's, uh, what's up? Anything you want to talk about? Anything you want to show me? Maybe you're just staring at me. Okay, <laughs> we got a request. Let's go. That's how I get things done. Because I ask nicely. <clears throat> My voice. <clears throat> I'm think I think you like me, right? We've known each other for like ever. <laughs> A little bit. And tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, you can't say no to this request. <laughs> I mean, you can already almost see it, you know, from where it's positioned, so. <laughs> the narration. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I mean, that's a little bit. I'd rather see the front or back, if at all possible, but hey, this is a start. <laughs> Your embarrassment only fuels my desire, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I mean, we've already come this far. Just just a little bit more. And here we go. That's what I'm talking about. And it's only partially censored, so... Although, if he did die, he could die happy now. <laughs> wow. What? Was that supposed to imply it was like a Monzai thing? I, I don't know. That was a weird way to end it off. But I assume that was kind of the implication there at the end. So who have we done so far? We've done Murakami Sanami, we've done Minori, we did Akari this episode. Who was the girl that pretended, pretended to be no pun? I can't remember which one that was. But there's still plenty, plenty of characters left. I mean, we also did the teacher, right? And a wonderful end card by Hadi Moji. Good work, Hadi Moji. Fine quality art there. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, so... Okay, just, uh, yeah, that that was the, the, the fifth episode of Dogeza de Tanon de Mita. And, uh, yeah, I guess we had our childhood friend character this time, and our request was for the Pansu, and we, we got it. I mean, we had... I think the most valuable thing we got out of this, though, was just the embarrassed reactions. I mean, that's that's really what we come here for, you know? Anything else is just a bonus. And we got both, so that's pretty great. I like how we had a bit of a... <clears throat> Like, almost a tease before we got the, the full course. Like, she showed us, like, from the side. And then we got from the front. So, yeah, I'd say it was pretty good. <clears throat> pretty good. Not quite as good, as of course, as the the, the no-pun girl. You know, no-pun, as she claimed to be. That's still the, the highest bar where the show set for me. But this was... I mean, this was a similar, similar sort of situation, right? Except handled differently, you know? I mean, the girl handled it differently, right? Because they're two very different people. 
but <clears throat> my voice is just like not not happening so i'm probably gonna just have to wrap this up but that was pretty great especially the way it ended off you know the whole like uh what is that did they say yeah, that, that's a wrap. Thank you for coming kind of thing, you know? So that was actually a pretty fun little way to end it off, right? So, so yeah, that's all I got to say. Bye. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snoky and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.